Hey, welcome back. Uh, just some update on the uh, Anambra governorship election, which happens on Saturday. There again, you had the Inspector General of Police, Usman uh, Akali Baba, and uh, the Chairman of INEC, Professor Mahmoud Yakubu, briefing the media and the country on just what uh, is done and what hasn't been done ahead of uh, the crucial uh, governorship poll. And in the last hour, We've been speaking with uh, Ezewa Umwagu. We've lost connection with him. He's a board member of Yaga. Yaga is an election observer, and they're working together with a number of other election observer teams all around Anambra State. So, Messi, interestingly, I'm, I'm going through the list of the candidates, and yes. I see that there's a female candidate, one out of, the fifth, out of the 16 candidates I see here, which is interesting. Um, but a number of parties have party. female deputy Deputy Wait, governorship can, candidates. candidates. The Southeast, I don't think, is it. Well, no. Well, Virginia Tiaba was um, briefly a governor of Anambra State, but she wasn't yeah, we elected. Had it, we had it. We had it. You know, which is the same Anambra. So this was when they had the crisis uh, then uh, between Peter Obi, Chris and Gige, and then that, in that period in which uh, mm. she was, uh, he was out of office, she had to, as a deputy, step in until the entire matter was resolved and then. So it's got an, they've got an interesting political dynamics playing out in a number of states. Uh, you have people who were once governors for 17 days and have come back hoping to get the opportunity to go in there. You've got people who were in one political, political party, moved to another party, came back, and at some point were criticized for Hopotin. grasshopping. Now, <laughs> oh, grasshopping. Yeah, he's got it. Uh, the candidate of an uh, uh, incumbent party. It's interesting dynamics, if you ask many people, playing out in a number of states. That's the game of politics, like yeah. they say. Um, yeah. Permanent, in permanent interests, right? Permanent interests, not permanent friends. Yes. And yes. so yeah, having yes. them sit in one place. Um, yeah, it's very true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, 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 and, and and that's where Nigerians are having um, an issue, especially with ideologies when it comes to parties. You mm. know, because you have this person move from here to here in the twinkling of an eye, and the next thing they embrace you, and all your sins are forgiven. Yeah. And they go, it's the, they are all the same thing. There's no difference between this, this particular party and this party, between this person mm -hmm. and this, this person. Because this, the grasshopper you talked about, if the grasshopper moves from this grass to this grass, I mean, both grasses are friendly. <laughs> both grasses are friendly. So if he moves to a grass that's not friendly to him, of course, he will hop right away back yeah. to the grass where he came from. Say, so I'm quite good when it comes to, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. And I'm sure they also want to make sure that what happened in Nemo State, which is neighboring Anambra, also, yes. by the way, it doesn't happen there. A lot, number of callers um, uh, during, the, during the newspaper review, uh, headlines review, talked about the fact that they don't want a situation where in Emo State um, the mandate of the people wasn't respected. Rather, it was the decision of the Supreme Court to decide who becomes uh, the governor of Emo State. It's not where we expect the democracy to be, but they go to the courts to resolve the matter. Unfortunately, it's not where the people did go to elect the governor. They went to the ballot to elect the governor. And so uh, having the, the governorship candidate decided by a court is not what Anambra State will be hoping for. They probably, will, and most likely, they would look at neighboring uh, Imo State and say, okay, we'd learn the lesson on how not to do or conduct elections. Let's make sure that everything is settled at the ballot. At the ballot. That's good. This is something else also about INEX uh, inno innovations and what they do with the technology uh, and the elections. And they said, I remember we spoke with, um, uh, well, we spoke with Festus Okoye, he's a National Commissioner for Public Education, some time back on the show. And he said, every single electoral process that INEC is involved with using technology has been tested and tried on the pilot stage for many years. So people get apprehensive. Oh, INEC is going to begin this, INEC is going to be doing that. They didn't know that many of these things being introduced, like electronic voting, electronic, have all been tried for a long time. Yes. You know, so they've perfected it. It's just now to come and show what is happening. Because otherwise, I, I thought it was a bit um, juvenile to imagine that anyone would just jump at it and say, I'm going to put out this particular method of processing on election day and not expect to be hit go smack in the face mm. with failure or embarrassment. But that's not what has happened with INEC. INEC is one agency of government which over the years has sort of reinvented itself and set the bar higher with which electoral process, which for me, I think is good. They take the criticism also, to which I think is what governance should be about. You should be ready to take criticism if you're uh, in governance, whether it's good, whether it's bad. If it's good, they clap for you. If it's bad, you get thumbs down, you know. 
And, and you know, Aplos or INEC, they've been doing well for, for some years now, back to back. Yeah. They've been doing really, really well and getting accolades. At least um, we've not heard someone, someone point hands to INEC and say, INEC, you have cost, you know, um, one of our candidates to you know, um, lose the election or you cost this particular inconsistency here or there. They've really, really, really tried, really, really, and we want people to support them as much as they can to ensure that Nigeria becomes a better place that, so that the good work that they're doing can, you know, permeate into other um, aspects and sectors uh, of the country, especially politics, because it is so much headache. I mean, if you ask, if you ask any Nigerian working on the street, what is the problem of Nigeria, they'll tell you the, lead the leadership, and how does the leadership come about? It's through politics. Mm. So if we can learn lesson from um, what's happening in most states, which makes it interesting that actually stopping everything at the ballot, making everything end at the ballot, um, um, is actually way, way cheaper yeah. than dragging the entire state, the entire, you're dragging everybody, you're dragging yeah. Indian Umbra, like they usually say, you're dragging everybody through the entire process. You people keep people's fingers crossed and everybody will be wondering what is the, uh, what is the judgment going to be like? I mean, Let's just get this thing done without the ballot there. We know that when the, when the person wins, the person wins. And like um, former President Gulag Jonathan did mm. when it happened that um, uh, our current president, uh, Muhammad Buhari, won the election. The guy just, the guy just you know, yeah. made the call and uh, congratulations, thank you, and just move on. Rather than doing the bus boos over here and there. It's, it's just like watching your mom and your dad fight, you know. It's no, I didn't watch my mom and dad fight. I didn't say you. I yeah. said it's just like... I could go, calm down. Go. It's an abnormal situation. It, yes, you wouldn't know where to go to, you wouldn't know where yeah. to run to, and you're going through trauma and the rest of them. Let's see, end at the ballot. And it begins with people coming out you yeah. know, in mass uh, to do the voting. Right. And yes, we trust the INEC process so far. Um, 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 Professor Makmu Yekuba has come out to say, yes, we have our, our guys are ready. Our ad hoc staff are ready. Security agencies are here with, with us. We have, in fact, they had a meeting um, uh, yesterday um, and they came out with, uh, you know, with the results today uh, to show that they are actually really, really ready for the election. So let's put our faith in them and not allow um, morbid thoughts and thoughts of pessimism to, you know, turn our brains like this uh, and, and, and wish bad things to happen. No, we don't want that. And yeah. Ambra, um, gubernatorial election on November 6th, we hold successfully and we'll come back here to talk about and give analysis to the results. As usual, you know, we always do that. Absolutely. So that's the way we do it. Tomorrow is open day. Uh, we are going to be here. Um, I'm not too sure if an Ambra election, the Ambra election comes, so it's not going to be talking about the candidates or the actors. We're talking more about the electoral process. The and the, issues. The attention will shift now to INEC and the conduct of the ballot because now we are bad uh, from talking about the election and the campaign period by uh, 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 tomorrow, our campaign is already over. So you have the opportunity on open day to talk on call and you know, you hear less of us, but you hear more of you, uh, which is the idea around open And day. yes, I will go. Um, um, as regards the another election on Saturday, um, uh, we're going to be giving um, up to the minute updates right here from the yeah. studio. And we're going to be having um, experts that will be coming in, uh, observers as well, uh, correspondents from yonder like some some part of the country would say will be giving us um, updates uh, on how the things are going there and we have experts i'll sit down here right here in the studio and give a blow by blow analysis of what is happening of course we are definitely going to leave no stone unturned we're leaving everything open for the whole world to see that this is what is going on to ensure that it is free and fair absolutely so that's the way we do it it's time up we're out of ammo we're out of personal we're out of weapons uh, thank you, everyone. everyone who's made this show great behind the camera, on the camera, on top of the camera, Sonny Bill and his gang. Uh, thank you very much. <laughs> That's out, out, out of here. Uh, keep it, keep it, ura, shush! Hey. Odabo, kachifo, kachibo, kachi everything. And